Are you a mechanical god in free play, but as soon as you're faced with a real opponent, your mechanics turn to absolute trash and you end up lying on the floor while your opponent scores over and over? Well, mm, not good, but good. Then this video is for you. In this video, I'll show you my own personal training routine that I use to keep my mechanics on point. We'll practice both fundamental and advanced mechanics in a way that won't just make you good in free play, but will prepare you for doing them in live matches against real opponents. So prepare to get cracked with Mogs's Ultimate Sideswipe Training Routine. How often does this situation come up in game? The ball is bouncing back towards your goal with you chasing close behind. Ideally, you would get goal side of the ball and take control of it easily, but instead, this happens. I call this skill a trap, and I think it's one of the most important skills in the game. So we just saw what a bad trap looks like, but here's what a good one looks like. And here's a perfect one. As you can see in the perfect example, the ball's momentum is completely stopped by our car. It doesn't pop up or roll towards the back of our car. It completely stops on our nose and allows us to immediately start our attack. So the first exercise in this training is to practice those low flying bouncing balls that we just looked at. Start off by taking the ball from the kickoff, then simply boost into it so it bounces back towards you. Then drive back and try to trap it. The aim here is to stop the ball dead in its tracks. And believe me, it's much easier said than done. I recommend doing this with the ball heading towards you like this, and with the ball running away from you like this. Both of these situations are super useful to get comfortable with. And the next exercise on traps is to practice high balls. So take the ball from the kickoff and get it flying through the air like this. And then drive back down and try to trap it. Again, repeat this when the ball's moving away from you and towards you. Oh, and before we move on to the next part of this training, I just made a video over on my second channel where I focused on this trap skill for three games of 1v1s. So go check that out linked above and in the video description. Ceiling pinches are easily one of the most important mechanics in the game, in both attacking plays and defensive clears. And therefore, they really should be part of any training routine. The first exercise to practice these is one I'm sure you'll all be familiar with. It's where you just hit the ball up the wall, follow it up to the ceiling, and pinch it downfield. Pretty straightforward. The goal here is to start your pinch from the very edge of the ceiling, and then try to score in the opposite goal. A tip on these for maximum power is to just aim for the edge of the ball, and make sure you're actually sandwiching the ball between your car and the ceiling when you hit it. The second exercise is to change our setup from using the wall to using an air dribble instead. So you can start from a dribble on the ground, then take it up for a pinch. Or you can start from an aerial play. Either way, practice these from various distances from the goal, including far, medium, and short range. And the last exercise on pinches is to use the white shot mechanic to do a super aggressive pinch that I call a white shot ceiling pinch. It's really useful for offensive plays because of the way your car follows the ball instead of staying on the ceiling like a normal pinch. I recommend practicing this one by first going for the pinch and then following it up with additional touches. Oh, and if you need help with white shots, check out my advanced shooting mechanics tutorial where I teach you exactly how to do it. Those of you who watch my channel regularly will know that I'm a huge fan of stalls. 
They're useful in pretty much any situation you can imagine, and they're not even that hard to do. In this part of the routine, we're going to practice something I call stall redirect. This is where the ball is flying one way, and you stall into it to push it back the other way. It's like an advanced version of the fadeaway jump shot I covered in my shooting tutorial. The way I like to practice them is by rolling the ball up the wall, then hitting it off to get it moving, and then just jump down and attempt to redirect it back towards the goal. And as with the trapping exercise, you should do this while chasing the ball from behind, and while driving towards it. The next part is all about one of my all-time favourite mechanics in the game, white shots. The best part about the white shot is that it allows you to follow up your first hit with more touches on the ball. So in this part, we're going to practice white shot chains. The easiest way to set yourself up is just to roll the ball up the wall, and then start your white shot chain, aiming to take the ball from one side into the opposite goal. And as a further challenge, you could also do this in the 3v3 arena, where you can practice longer chains of light hits, or more powerful ones. For a tip on white shots, the key to getting a light white shot is by flipping when you're close to the ball. And the key to getting harder ones is to flip while further from the ball. And the last part of my training routine kind of brings everything together, and it's basically essential for anyone who wants to be good at 1v1s. So how often does this situation come up in 1s? You have full possession of the ball, with your opponent just waiting for you to make a play. And you totally choke. Well, in this part of the training, we're going to work on exactly that. So we'll start out from a dribble, and then just use as many mechanics in your arsenal to create a play. For instance, you could start with a purple flick, and then go for a powerful gold shot. Or you could start by manually popping the ball up, passing to yourself with a white shot, and then taking a shot on goal. Or maybe a gold pop, followed by a purple reset, and then air dribbling into the goal. You can really do whatever you want here. The only thing I would suggest for this one is to only allow yourself a second or so from when you start your dribble to when you begin your play. This simulates the pressure that you'll be under in a live match with an opponent about to challenge you, so don't give yourself too much time. And that's it guys, that's the end of my training routine video. I really hope that this helps you to sharpen up your skills and get warmed up before you jump into competitive matches. And if you guys have your own training routines or exercises that you want to share with me and the community, feel free to tell us about them down in the comments, and even share your own videos showing your routines. I for one would love to see them. And come join the Mogs Discord server if you want to hang out with me and other Mogs viewers, become a Mogs member if you want to help support my channel, and get access to special perks like playing matches with me, as well as getting access to an exclusive members only Discord channel where you can chat with me. And go check out my second channel if you want to see me play Sideswipe, Rocket League and other games with live commentary. And like the video if you liked it, dislike it if not, subscribe for more videos like this as well as a whole bunch of other Rocket League and Rocket League Sideswipe content. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.